Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to an episode of our Let's Play for XCOM Chimera Squad. We are continuing our impossible run here, and uh, City Anarchy is right at the halfway mark. It's uh, or just just below. Sorry, it's at six of fourteen. Um, we do have a Spec Ops coming up in three turns. We'll drop that by three. We've got some assembly stuff going on. We got training going on for her. Um, lots of good things. Um, but yeah, really nothing else for us to do except just jump right in. I think. I think we will be taking this Anarchy over here. Uh, this one's going to go up by one. That's okay. This one's going to go up by one, I assume. Uh, that's going to be okay. Wait. No, just these two. I'm sorry. This one's not going to go up. Why is that one highlighted? Seems odd. But anyway. Um, we have 95 intel. Do we have enough for something? I actually don't remember if we had enough for something. Um, do. Oh, no. Only if we upgrade. Uh, no, only if we replace, not if we upgrade. So never mind. We do not have enough for something. We want 10. All right. We'll just go ahead and do the anarchy. Uh, that's what we're planning on doing anyway. Second core units recover a small amount of HP at the start of their turn. Good to know. Um, is this the group we want to take? I think so, yeah. I think this is a fine group. I don't think there's anything we need to change either with their loadouts. Uh, there's three projected encounters. We've got window, security door, and door. So we want to make sure we at least have a key card, which you do. And nope, everything else looks good. Let's go. Let's do this. I mean, it's going to be a little hard not having our... Our robot chick kind of helping us out with her zappage, but uh, all right, we'll make do. We'll be all right. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. All right, successful shots on enemies during breach will stun. All enemies enemies entering here get plus twenty five aim crit. All enemies entering entering here get plus fifty dodge. Okay, we'll send uh, you through that one because that seems the most logical for you. Uh, crit, aim, stun. Um, let's send you through the stun. Let's send you through the aim and you through the crit, maybe something like that. Uh, you go first. I think that's okay. Second, third, okay. I think this is okay. I'll we'll go through this. Time to move. A lot of window breakage. All right, we got a turret, a commando, android, and a trooper. Got a couple hundred percents, but we're going to kind of hold off on them, I think. Probably knock out this turret first, I think. Oh, this commando is is something I might want to take deal with as well. Get a lancer shot him to increase the chance. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go for the commando. And completely destroy the commando. I like it. Um, turret or android. Let's go for the turret. Not do enough damage. Um, looks like she's going to crit automatically. So do we want to go for something else to get, do more, some dam more damage? No, I think we just finished off the turret and be done with it. And then you... Eh, let's go over and fearless advance the trooper or something. Take a couple shots. But should be okay. Ah, it would be nice to get a stun. No go. That's all right. All righty. What have we got going on here? Clear the executive suite. Prevent the enemies from escaping. So we've already got two guys that are going to be escaping right away. This cobra up here. Um, do we have a good lancer shot path? Uh, the robot's going to go in next, and then this guardian back here. I mean, like, what kind of lancer shots or phase lines do we have now? Of anything, uh, can we? We can get both of those guys in one phase lance, which wouldn't be that bad actually. That'd probably be pretty smart. Uh, let's take our lightning hands first, though. And I mean, it could just lightning hands that guy, but it also lightning hands the uh, android to make sure it gets low before our phase lance finishes it off. Probably a good idea. And then, I could also just Deadeye, save my phase lines for later. Because Deadeye has a pretty good chance of killing both those guys. Well, decent chance. But no, let's just do the phase lines. Let's guarantee it. Let's get these guys knocked out. It's going to give this guy a chance to move, but I think we'll be alright. We got rid of one of the guys that can flee, so that's good. He's going to pop a shield on everybody, which is a little frustrating, but... 
we'll make do. We've got two people that can act before the next person acts. We know the Cobra's going to run away. We could just let the Cobra run away and just deal with it in the next match. Next next uh, group. It's definitely an idea. Sticky grenade. Uh, shrapnel bomb. Ends turn. Does not end turn if uses first action. So probably what we want to do is throw this thing over here to hopefully get more than one of these guys. Uh, where's number four? Number four is over here. I mean, we can sort of get number four. Not really well, though. Uh, he's behind cover. I don't think it's actually going to get him. We may have to just go for this number six guy, see if we can get him to take some damage. Let's go for this right here. Let's get number six and number three. Of course, it's not going to go off before number three goes. Um... Maybe we just shoot number three. We could also stick a grenade like this Cobra or something. Yeah, why not? Let's try that. Let's try him a sticky grenade. He's going to fall back. Maybe he'll fall back to the bruisers over here. Yeah, these guys. That works. Do some damage to him. Still got the grenade ready to, to roll as well, which is going to be good. Um... Could cooperate somebody. Man, these guys are lined up good for a phase lance this direction. Um, actually, do we, do we, we don't even have a shot here, though, is the problem. So, no, we gotta, we kind of need to move up to at least get a shot. Uh, yeah, let's go for this, no, not number seven, I want to go for the number two guy. Ideally. Chain shot. I mean, sure, why not? 77% chance. Do have that bomb about to go off and they hit a couple of them at least. Bruiser's gonna get to go. Looks like it's okay. He's gonna shoot us. Okay. Here comes the bomb. Got him a little bit low. Not not down though. Here comes the purifier. Now oh, you're gonna flame her. Okay. Fair enough. That hurts. All right. Can we just move up and deal with the cobra? Yes. In fact, we can actually come up here and crowd control. This is actually a perfect time for crowd control. Assuming we're not taking any fire damage? No, we're not. Perfect crowd control. Everybody's low. No, I didn't quite get him down, but that's all right. And... So number two is going to go next. We definitely want to deal with him. With this guy. So we'll just move him up. Hopefully get an easy shot here. 100%. I will take it. And then... We can't quite just knock him out. So we are going to have to still like do stuff. Um, so... do have two people that can act. Although she's going to need to really heal, to be honest. Finding a better spot. You'll make it. Things I'm kindling. Um, yeah, we can't do anything while we're under fire, unfortunately. So we'll just come over here and knock this guy out, get out of the fire, try to get a heal between rounds. I guess it's not gonna be great, but it's something. At least we prevented people from escaping, so that is gonna make this next one a little bit, a little bit easier. Uh, there are a few aggressive enemies. Yeah, I think we definitely. Go through here. We will send blue blood because terminal needs to heal. Uh, can we do this one on this round and then still terminal heal? Yes, we can. I thought we could. Just wanted to make sure. Yep. All right. This looks good. Get the heal going off. Plus the crit, which is awesome.
All right, man, there's a lot of enemies in here. Um, several of them are surprised. Some big old giant mech again. Would have been nice to have the robot, but robot killer, I should say. Kind of feel like we got to go for this mech first because mech can be pretty damaging. Um, no, I'm actually gonna have you fearless advance. Maybe this commando or something. Actually, go for the Hitman. We'll deal with the mech through the other guys. Hopefully. <laughs> In theory. Well, it's going to take both of them, unfortunately. But at least we got rid of it. And she's going to go down there and mitigate the alert from that one person, the Hitman. We might need to use our... Uh, special ability on this one our team up it's a lot of mobs here all right so there are two guys that are gonna run away um eight and nine so they're pretty low on the list unfortunately um did i have a purifier over here come on quick 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 there we go that makes things a lot easier and yeah i think we well I can deal with this commando, to be honest. Let's go number two here. Why is it only... Oh, do I only have a... I don't have a shot against him. Okay, never mind. I can shoot the turret. It's only 70%. Might be better just deal with the hit, man. We're going to take a couple damage shots anyway, but at least that takes one off of that next round. Yeah, this is probably better. Actually, I just realized as soon as I shot that, I shouldn't have dead-eyed because I, I could have killed him without that. That's Commando. He's going to take a shot against us. Nope, going to throw a grenade. Oh, throw a smoke grenade. Okay. That's fine. We're going to get a damage from the turret here. Or just Overwatch. Never mind. Um. Okay, we have another crowd control we can do. We only have one person that can go before number two over here goes. So... I remember I have my Molotov Inducer, so that's a thing. I mean, I can run over here and just bop him. Maybe. Sure, let's go for it. Ah, oh, so good. And then I think we just parry where we're at, honestly. Right, you have a shot against the number two guy over there. He's going to be moving. I don't know if he's going to fire or if he's just going to move. Uh, we definitely want to safeguard ourselves, so got to get some heals on ourselves. A little bit of armor as well. All right. Might be a good time for cooperation, actually. Since we know two is moving, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it out or not. I tend to just put a couple shots on the Cobra over here. Well, if we're going to do that, then we, yeah, we don't need to worry about two. We're going to assume that two possibly, probably isn't firing this round. He's just going to try and run away. So let's just throw a couple shots on the Cobra over there. And I think that will be okay. Not much damage, but I'm moving. I think it gets up within kill range. All right, you're going to do double move, I think, probably. Yes, I, f I figured you would. I just wanted to, wanted to make sure. All right, so we got to get rid of the Cobra. Then Blue Blood can take care of some of these other guys. So, uh, probably just Shrapnel Bomb that direction. And then maybe just blow up the Shrapnel Bomb. Or, better yet, Shrapnel Bomb over here. And then shoot over there. I think that is a better move. Just make sure it does hit both these guys. But not Blue Blood. I think we can kill the Cobra. Just from where we're at. We should be able to there we go that bombs about to go off um it's not gonna kill them we do have phase lance although i'd kind of like to save that let's do lightning hands though that's okay and get this guy a little bit low because then the then it will kill him the armor. definitely is gonna kill that guy the commando not so much 
but we can dead eye the commando from right here, close close range. Nope, we cannot because we are. Oh yes, we can. There we go. Yeah, can take the hundred percent there, but the bomb's going to do that for us. Let's get some shot on the turret, and then we'll dead eye the other guy as well. We have enough ammo, just enough ammo for that. Didn't quite kill the turret, but then we will dead eye this guy down below us, because That's the wrong thing. Um, that should get him within range. It might even kill him, which if it does, it's okay. All right, kill him. I'll take it. That's all right. Bomb's gonna kill this other guy, and then all we got left is the turret. Always gonna get a chance to fire here. Yeah. Uh... Oh, parry! Perfect. No, that's grid. Thank you, Perry. Um, do I want to skip a turn? Yes. And let Terminal heal herself again. Yes, I think I do. And then he can take care of that. So let's go ahead and safeguard herself again. It's completely topped off. And then he can deal with it. Actually, she can still take a shot too. That'll work. So we have been killing the guys that have been running away so far. So, so far, that's going to make this last round as easy as it can be, to be fair. And we still have our, uh, we still have a lot of our cooldowns. So we're doing good. First unit you know, through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shots. Um, eh, let's do Claymore. And then, let's see, Terminal, do you have anything good? Sure, we'll smoke bomb. Blue blood and Zephyr. Something like that. Entering. Throwing grenade. All right. Let's see if we can deal with these guys first. Yeah. Let's see if we can deal with this android. Ah, didn't get a crit. Really want to deal with the android? Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, let's Lancer shot you. Guarantee this shot. I mean, I could finish you off, but I would like to get you to use your thing. So, we're going to figure out this over there. I'm going to take a shot, but I think that's okay. One shot, not that big a deal. Knocks out that guy's alert action. And, uh, here we go. Lots of guys stacked up here. If we could get a good Lancer target. shot, although he's pretty low. We could... We could... Where is he? He is there. He might be able to get a Lancer shot against those three. But I definitely think we should team up him. Give him a good chance to do something good here. Alright. Uh, sticky grenade. Let's sticky grenade... That uh, stick your next start into the turn. Never mind. Let's do this first. Um, something like over here, maybe. How's that friendly fire? Oh, dude over there. Okay. Uh, never mind. So, I mean, do we care about <laughs> fire on that guy? I do. Um, maybe over here gets these four. Just in case the lancer shot doesn't go off. Doesn't work. No, it's not going to be all four of those. Uh, can I get the guardian over here and then that turret? Yes, that works. Shrapnel out. And then we stick a grenade. I don't know. Get this guy back here that hasn't moved yet. Hostiles day. That works. Get all those guys low. All right, so blue blood, we definitely want to phase Lance through here if we can get all three of these guys. I think so. Yeah, right? Uh, I thought we had it for a second there. Oh, we had it. I, I looked like we had it. Come on. Nope. I really thought we had it for a second there before I turned it. Come on, there's got to be a way to do it, right? No? Hmm. 
I mean, I can move and then do it. I guess if it's going to end my turn anyway, I might as well. Would I rather move somewhere different and get a different group? Uh, number two is this guy up here, the Guardian. I moved here, like over here behind this guy. Maybe I can get the turret in that. Oh, that's number three. I'd really like to get number three. Getting the Guardian, though, is huge, though, because he's going to put up a shield, so never mind. I think we do want to at least try to get the Guardian over here. Yeah. I mean, this bomb is going to potentially kill the Guardian, but we can't run that risk. And I think we just have to play it safe and get behind high cover and just take what shot we can get. All right, we'll do that. It's not ideal, Stepping but out. it's going to have to be. So we got get two over there. We can get, can we get three by any chance. By any way, no. We can get those two, but we want to get the Guardian. So we're going to get the Guardian and the Trooper, I think. It's going to waste that bomb a little bit. At least it's going to hit the turret. Wasn't the original plan, to be fair. So that's part of the reason why it is what it is. We have to get the Guardian and the turret, are we? No. All right, we'll just do this. It's not as many people, but that Guardian, if he gets his shield off, is pretty bad. Pretty bad. I mean, it took a little bit of armor off the turret. Smoke bomb. Okay, that's fine. We can handle that. Um, I think we cooperation here. And then probably chain shot somebody. So let's cooperate. Um... Actually, before I cooperate with Claymore, you can throw another grenade. Blue Buck can throw a bomb. But at least Claymore's is AE, so probably better. Because I can throw a grenade right here. Get both these guys before they're able to act. Yes. So we can completely ignore those two guys, because those two guys will be dead. And it can completely ignore the smoke bomb, too, because that won't matter. Ah, if we get there, we maybe get the turret. Looks like it. Uh, will it go before the turret? It will not. Still, I think that's still the right move. Explosive out. Keep clear of that thing. I mean, she could just shoot the bomb, to be fair. I mean, she's not going to be able to kill this guy anyway. To be, you know, come, it comes down to it. It's 27%, yeah. Honestly, probably better for her just to shoot the bomb, get it over with. Knock out that turret, at least. I mean, this guy's going to get a chance to move, but that's it before him. And then five will be dead, three will be dead, and eight will be dead. So it's really just the Ronin. Okay, no, this is good. This is the right move, I think. Gives the Ronin a chance to move, but that's it. Oh, he's going to escape. Ah, oh, boo. I forgot about that, that he had the escape on him. Well, only one escape, though. So, still rating of an excellent. Not bad. Not too bad on the wounds, either. And we uh, have an 80% chance of getting some more intel. Hopefully. That's unfortunate that we let him escape. But I, should, I forgot about that. Although, I don't think we could have stopped it at that point. Because he had too much health uh, left over for her to just deal with by herself. Uh, we did not get the intel. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, we just got, at least got the city under control, so mostly. What will you do when you retire? Get a boat or something? You always ask. What about you? Oh, I'm not going to retire. Of course you will. You can't do this job for too long. It gets to you. No, I mean, I know the odds. I have five years, tops, then a stray blast of plasma flash fries my lungs. So why do this? Because I'm no good when I stop. I understand. More than you know. It's kind of dark and foreboding. <laughs> uh, so everything looks good. Um, we do have a couple more turns so we can push any of those buttons. The next action we're going to go for, we can't go for this one. Uh, I guess we can go for this one if we wanted to. Two days towards the operation, minus two unrest, plus 45 credits. Um, two unrest isn't as important, but the two days advanced would be really good. It would allow both of these to cap out, though. So, honestly, any of these three are going to cap out, unfortunately. So, that's just the way it is. We still didn't get any intel. Man, we needed that at 20 intel to boost, boost one of these other ones up again. 
Um, I mean, is there just something that's just better? There's a bunch of intel there. There's a little bit of intel there. I still think this is the... I mean, they're all going to go up to max. So there's nothing we can do to stop that. So of that, then this helps this thing the most. So I think that is the right move. Because we're about to get a whole bunch of city anarchy coming our way. By the time we get this thing going off here in three turns, by then we'll definitely have had at least three more city anarchy pop off, which means that we will... Um, we're basically just holding steady. Which, I guess, is a thing. It is a strategy of sorts. Wish it was a little bit better. All right, well, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we will, like I said, we'll probably do this one down here. Because I think that's the one we need to do to get this thing advanced. So, yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.